Hey guys, it's Tarkat here, and this is a very, very brief guide for anyone who wanted to replicate my Mayhem build, aka GC Mines in 3.1. I have created a full playlist of all of my day-by-day -day recaps, and I did a day-by-day -day gearing recap for Glacial Cascade Mines into the Kinetic Blast uh, transition. I'm also going to leave a link to the day one leveling push so you can see how we progress through the entire leveling process alongside paste men links below before i talk about skill tree stuff i've also prepared some um, leveling helpers for you just quickly why you would want to play this build in 3.1 glacial cascade has been buffed severely with the addition of two new threshold jewels which give you easy um 100 physical to cold conversion alongside increased damage and area of effect basically tldr glacial cascade which was already a tier one skill and was used in every single serious push group for leveling which then transitioned into a carry for early maps and bosses got even better very solid damage will carry you through all the bosses old and new very easy act 5 act 10 katava with this new focus being focused on you know elder items and elder elder guardian shaping if you want a very simple build anyone can play which will carry all the content for you this is what i would recommend and again links to both the leveling footage and the day by day recaps will be down below let's quickly get into the skill tree this is what your base setup should look like and again just a caveat this entire thing is from the point of view of a hardcore player if you are a softcore player get more damage you'll notice there's actually very little damage on the tree um if you have enough survivability and just want more damage just add more damage nodes just click show node power most notably you're going to be wanting to chase critical strike multiplier throat seeker is going to be pretty huge for you stuff like getting snowforge very easy crit chance cold damage it's pretty straightforward get the nodes which give you more damage for very early leveling you're going to go through these elemental nodes because you're going to be leveling with just early elemental skills come through here grab life come through route through this way to start come down grab clever construction save this for later come across grab a volatile mines small like bug with volatile mines this means your mines detonate instantly but only if you use the default mine um, button if you play a miner there's like an extra button added which floats above your um, action bars at the bottom whatever that's bound to that will be instant if you were to have for example detonate mines linked into your gear and you had that bound into your action bar that isn't instant for some reason it's a weird bug that being said i leveled to 100 with a miner without noticing this bug and was playing a little clunky miner the whole way without even noticing um so yeah <laughs> just a little pro tip um, from someone who made the mistake of living to 100 on a miner without instant mines. Once you've gotten that, you just kind of want to rush through and get mined over matter. Getting mined over matter, once you've got that, you can then start picking up your crit nodes and this, that, and the other. You can rush crit early if you feel safe without it. When I did it personally, I rushed all the crit stuff early, got stuff like Blast Cascade for power charge generation, then went mined over matter. Just depends on how confident you are as a player. Once you've gotten that, grab life. That's it. You get all the DPS nodes early from just being a miner. And to be completely honest with you, you really need one DPS cluster as a miner. Very briefly, I've pre-prepared some base items you should be looking for. I've also included some optional unique items you can look for. I've left these two sockets empty because you're going to be using the new Glacial Cascade Threshold Jewels. You'll get one yourself from Act 5 and then just try and buy one from another player. So you'll get one early, and then the next one you'll get a bit later on. And yeah, that's basically that. Try and pick them up from other people. Uh, things you definitely will be running. Essence Worm gives you a plus two to socket aura gems and a free um, aura reservation. This is where you put Hatred. You do 100% physical converted to cold damage. Hatred is perfect because it gives you cold damage based on percentage physical. Use a tabula for early leveling. You'll see you have 5.4k life plus mind over matter the mana numbers will go down because they have nerfed mom so this is more like 5.4k and it'll be like 1.82k um, you will have to take a mana cluster early one thing to note you'll notice i don't opt for a mana potion i would recommend one for early leveling however what i found works perfectly fine for me personally on my 100 push was double vol clarity increased duration faster casting 
very easy to maintain both of these during the vile clarity uh, effect your skills cost zero so with two of these each one lasts about 15 seconds you're completely fine if you don't feel comfortable however you can drop either a dps slot if you're worried about it in hardcore being it zero's promise or a wise oak or in softcore you can drop a basalt flask which is a defensive slot for a mana flask very very straightforward um, again, Zero's Promise is very good early damage because it gives you percent Fizz as extra chaos and percent Ellie. This is always busted with conversion skills. Other items that you can look out for to make your leveling process a bit smoother, I have included. These include the Princess Saber. This gives up to 30% of physical damage as extra cold damage. Also has quite nice attack speed, making shield charge feel pretty smooth. And there's also a very similar shield called Kalen Soul or Kalen Hulk. Kalen Soul is the upgraded version. Um, but what it does, most importantly, gain 15% of physical damage as extra cold damage. Very, very powerful. It also gives you 50% cold res and plus 5% um, maximum cold res. Basically, you ignore cold damage for the entire leveling process. Another very um, good item I'd recommend for early leveling if you can get one is a Dream Fragments. Dream Fragments gives you a bunch of mana, mana regen, a bunch of cold resistance, and cannot be frozen, can't be chilled. Makes your life a lot easier when it comes to rolling flask mods. Now, I said I'd prepared um, some things to help you through the leveling process. Let's get right into it. So, to start off, you will pick a shadow. You will use a combination of Freeze Pulse and Fire Trap to your level. You will use this until you get fine over mines. As you can see, you're going to have a good, happy time. Always full life, always full mana, because Freeze Pulse Fire Trap is just really good. At that point, you're going to want to transition into Fire Nova Mine. Fire Nova Mine absolutely destroys even Geodude. It was meant to be a crab, but whatever. You pick this up just before Marvale at level 12. Again, absolutely takes you through. You'll use Fire Nova Mine from level 12 until 28, at which point you'll go Glacial Cascade. And once you go Glacial Cascade, you just face roll absolutely everything. Make sure that you do your normal Ascendancy. I would normally do it around about the start of Act 4 slash end of Act 3. I normally do it, you know, um, just before Dominus, but definitely make sure you have it by Act 5. One thing I'd recommend for anyone a bit spooked by Act 5 for Katava, anyone who's fresh to hardcore, get yourself a nice little Taunty boy. Decoy Totem is OPOP, -OP. Decoy Totem will carry you, Decoy Totem is Babe. So Glacial Cascade does stupid damage, you'll just one-shot Katava. But to be safe, drop a little Taunty boy, he'll throw his hammers, because he has hammers now at it. Always full HP, always full mana, as fix. That is the entire leveling process, have a good time. So other things that I want to quickly talk about when it comes to links, um, make sure you have a cast and damage taken on Mortal Call. Set up a whoop de whoop to try and get a detonate mines as soon as possible. You want these in the first few hours. Having cast and damage taken and mana called detonate mines, have it before Act 5 if at all possible. This basically means that if you ever get hit out of, um, slightly out of position, immune to physical damage for a brief portion of time, and it will detonate any mines you have laid. This is what carried me for the entire leveling process. Again, people think I'm terrible. I got to 100 because of detonate mines. The way this works is let's say I start dropping my mines. I then get stunlocked by a scary Katava mob. It triggers it. The Destiny Mines trigger kills the mobs. I don't take any fist damage. Keep on walking. When you can get a four link, throw in feeble in there, and then you're super safe. So something hits you, they get enfeebled, detonates everything. Also gives you really nice protection against disconnects. If you disconnect, you nearly always have one mine on the floor. Triggers the mine. The mine kills everything. Seems good. Other things that I would recommend just to help out the leveling process and also the single target, Frost Bomb. Frost Bomb reduces the cold resistance of any enemies debuffed. It's not needed, you one shot everything without it, but it just helps a little bit. Drop a Frost Bomb, drop it, well, drop a decoy totem so the boss is distracted. Drop a Frost Bomb. Mines, 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 mines. Um, you won't have this very early on, but when you do have it, this will sort of be towards the end of the leveling process and you're in maps now trying to get against the big scary bosses. Try and grab a spell totem and a detonate mines. I'd recommend having both a decoy totem and a spell totem just so you can juggle based on the content you're doing. But if you don't know, if you have a spell totem detonate mines laid, this will spam cast detonate mines for you. So let's say you pop yourself a Vile Clarity, you have 15, so that's 5, 10, 15 seconds of infinite mana. You just keep spam clicking Glacial Cascade and the little like detonate boy detonates all the things for you. This will be very nice also in Abyss League since a lot of Abyss League is 
you find cracks, mobs spawn, you stand for a bit, it moves on, then you get like a big like treasure room where you go and kill some stuff. So this is perfect for just dropping a totem, which does everything for you, and you just spam click. Mm -hmm. So most people will be going one hand and shield. You can use Tremorod if you want to. I believe just going for a crit dagger and a crit shield is much better. You'll then have access to shield charge. If for whatever reason you do want to use a two hand, um, then I'd recommend phase run, increased duration, enhance, level three, faster casting. It seems stupid, but I used the setup on my Kinetic Blast Miner. This gave me 57% movement speed, and that was with just a level 3 Enhance. If you could get a level 4 Enhance, you're really laughing. Basically, you use this to move from pack to pack. It lasts for a substantial amount of time. It's really solid. Also, for anyone who would like to go full glowy brain, there might actually be potential to use a plus 3 to socketed um, skills bow. The reason why I say that is there a new bow skill called Mirage Archer, where it you do an attack and then it replicates those attacks for a set duration. You could potentially, potentially use an essence to craft a plus two cult bow, then master mod plus one, giving you plus three to your glacial cascade mines, then set up a Mirage Archer to do like curse on hit shenanigans for you. Maybe like I shot curse on hit. Mm. That also helps proc stuff like hyperthermic and you multiply as full glowy brain. Imagine how glowy glowy brain that would be. There's also the quiver which gives you 20% of physical added as extra cold and cursed enemies killed spread curses. Can you see the synergy? Can you see the... Anyway, so that's just something I would maybe consider. For anyone who liked my KB mind setup on the record, like to replicate it. I have also included a budget uh, tree. This is what it should look like for you. For the gearing and the links, just copy everything from my videos, which will also be linked below. Make sure you take pierce, that's how you get pierce, or use the pierce gem. And then if you have a little bit of mums, get yourself two inspired learnings. Your tree then looks like this. Inspired learning makes you feel like a big boy with headhunter. That's that. So yeah, TLDR, Glacial Cascade, absolutely broken. Use it, you'll get to carry all the content. Seems good. If you then want to play a little bit of Kinetic Blast action, still a really solid build, but I'd probably recommend just playing a normal self-cast. Um, Wonder, since they have removed Reflect, although Kinetic Blast does have better AoE and easier damage scaling, then go for either one of these two options. And if you do get confused, remember, just reference the leveling guide. I'm Taki, have a good day. Sorry, I thought I was gonna sneeze. Bye-bye.